Okay, this is the quick start guide. Um, so um, I'm trying to I'm formatting it a little bit different this time because my videos always end up being just a touch too long for YouTube, and I don't like the way to YouTube uh, is compressing the videos because I think it looks like crap. So I'm going to try to stream it straight from my blog. So this is only going to be probably the first five minutes or so. Uh, please go over there and watch the rest of it though, and you can hear the finished song and stuff. And then I'll do a little write up on it also. Um, and head over there to just check out all my other tutorials and stuff. Um, but yeah, let's dive right in. Um, this is the quick start guide to Logic. After you watch this, you should be able to make a song on your own. All right. Well, about the basic way to record a quick song. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go down. And I've got Logic open. And I'm going to go File, New. And that's going to create a new document. And I'm going to choose Empty Project. Um, you can explore these, but for this tutorial, we're going to do Empty. And the first thing it's going to ask is what I want um, my first track to be. And so I want to record a, a guitar. So I'm going to go audio. And then down here I choose the input on my interface. So I'm going to go input to and create. So that's created me a new audio file. Okay, and so now that we're in Logic, I can do a little bit nicer um, audio quality than the built-in speaker. So the first thing we're going to do here, once we've created that audio file, is we're going to um, save this project. So this is going to be A minor jam. So I'm just going to name it A minor. Oops. A minor. And uh, so, that, so that's good. And I can rename this track. So this is going to be my guitar track. And set it to record. So I'm going to record this to a click. And so to record to a click, you just hit this little metronome button down here. And I'm going to hit the space bar. And that starts it. Um, so that's going to be a little bit too slow for me. And so the tempo is right here. Um, so I'm going to set this, just double click. And I'm going to set it to 132. Okay. Um, so before we start recording this, let's look around the interface. Up here we have our toolbar. So this has all your regular functions, including the inspector, which turns this, turns this little sidebar on and off. And then also the media browser. This is the other thing that you'll use quite often. And this lets you look at all of the files that you have. Um, <coughs> we'll get into that in a second. So for now, um, here's my guitar. And it's just kind of a clean, clean, direct-in sound. And so to dirty it up, I'm going to go to my effect slots for this channel. And I'm going to choose Amp Modeling Guitar Amp Pro. Um, if this was a bass, you could choose a bass sound, or you could leave it dry, whatever you want. Um, and so I'm going to go, and I'm going to choose a Boutique Combo Fat. That sounds a little bit better to me. I want a little bit of reverb. And I'm going to turn the gain up and the master down. Too loud. Just right. All right. So now I've got my quick track set up, I've got my track I want to record set up, and so to record on a track you just have to make sure that this little R button is is uh, glowing red, and then you hit this record button down here. So I'm going to record this first track and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I, I messed up there, and actually on purpose, but... If you do something that you don't want to keep, um, all you do is select the track by clicking on it, and then you hit the delete button, <coughs> and it's going to ask you if you want to keep it. So if you n never plan on using that piece of audio again, hit delete, and it's going to record it, delete it from your desk, so you'll never be able to get that back. If you think that you ever might use it again, hit keep, and it'll delete it from this screen, but it won't delete it from your computer. I'm not going to use this one again, so I'm going to hit delete. Okay, so now let's uh, let's try to lay this down. Okay, that wasn't perfect, but that'll be good um, to build my other tracks around. So, I'm going to hit this uh, record button, because I don't want this to record anymore, and the input button, and now I can listen to this back. Okay, so the next track I want to do is I want to record drums, and since I don't have a live drummer here, I'm just in my apartment, I'm going to record them via MIDI. And so, 
I need to create a software instrument track. So to do that, you hit this little plus button and choose software instrument and hit create. So now here's my little instrument down here. And so I want to, right now it's not going to do anything, but I want to choose a sound for it. So we're going to go into our media library. And if you go hit the library tab, this is all the sounds that we have available. So I'm going to go into drums and percussion, acoustic drum kits, and I'm going to start checking these out. Let's try Roadhouse Kit. Alright, that's a little bit too butt rock for me. Let's try Indie Kit. Alright, I like the sounds, but it's a little bit too dry, so this, this live one looks promising. Okay, that's pretty good. So that's the sound I'm going to use. I'm going to turn turn this down. Okay, and then when you're recording MIDI, you record it the same way, but you have some other options. And one of those is quantize. So this song is kind of a, on the drums, it's really straightforward. There's not a whole lot of jazzy style playing. So I can uh, quantize. So I'm going to quantize the 16th notes. And so it's just going to pull any of my hits to the nearest 16th notes. That, that's what a quantize does. And so if I play and I'm not perfect, when I play it back after that, it'll be close to perfect, unless I get farther off, farther off than a 16th. So um, let's try this. I'm gonna just going to do this first section. So for the second half, I'm not a good enough keyboard drummer to play it all the way. And so MIDI lets you just overlap tracks. So I'm just going to set it to about right here. And I can hit the R button, the R key, and that'll re let me record um, while I'm playing, while the track is playing back. So I'm just going to, for this first pass, I'm just going to record the kick and the snare for the second half of the song. So let's do that. <laughs> 